Exercise 7, Unit 8, Part 2, Interchange 1, Exercise 7, Snapshot. Come and complain about neighbors. If you have neighbors, do you have complaints, statements about problems? Complain, complaints, to tell problems about people. General complaints, general problems about your neighbors. Neighbors, people who are living next to you, next by inhabitants. Number one, look at the picture. Dog, the dog makes a lot of noise. The dog barks, and this is night. Noise. My neighbor's dog barks all night. My neighbor always has loud parties. Noise. My neighbor's dog barks all night. My neighbor always has loud parties. Look at the picture here. You see what people are singing. Dancing, have a lot of noise. This is night. Second picture, privacy. The problem of privacy. The kids here are playing in the yard. This is the yard, the house yard. They're picking up the flowers. They're having fun. Another kid, another child is what is listening. Is listening to his neighbors. He's spying. The kids next door always play in my yard. They play in the yard. My neighbor visits every day. It's too much. Every day my neighbor comes he knocks the doors and visits me every day. Third problem, a lot of cats, a lot of cats, animal problems. My neighbor's cats go everywhere, the cats go everywhere. My neighbor has six dogs, it's a zoo. My neighbor has six dogs, so this is like a zoo. Problem number four. Look at the picture. House, not clean. The yard is not clean. A lot of mess. Chaos. Garbage. Cleanliness. My neighbor has garbage in his front yard. So my neighbor has garbage in his front yard. My neighbor never cuts the grass. My neighbor never cuts the grass. He didn't cut the grass. The grass. He never uses landscaper. to landscape the garden, to make the garden clean. First question. Do you ever have any of these complaints? Which ones? Do you have any of these problems? Which one do you have? No, it's The street is always noisy. There are a lot of cars. It's too crowded. Animal problems. My neighbor has different watching dogs. Cleanliness. Some people threw garbage in the street. What do you do when you have complaints? 
If you have a problem like this, what would you do? If I have a problem, I'll call the police. Exercise number eight. Look at the picture. What do you see? A young lady. Where is she? She's in the balcony. She's calling someone. She has a telephone, a mobile, a cell phone. Cell phone, mobile. She's talking to someone. What's the view? A lot of cars, street, different buildings. Barber shop, coffee shop, and she's very happy. Conversation is pretty safe, pretty, pretty safe, very safe. Listen, Brax. Let's start to listen. Listen and practice. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. <laughs> Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. First question. What about Nick and Bam? What are they talking about? They're talking about Pam's new apartment. Pam has moved a new apartment. Where is Pam's new apartment? It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Convenient, suitable. Nearby. Is there much noise? No, there isn't any. Why? Because Pam lives on the fifth floor. Her apartment is on the fifth floor. Apartment flat. How many restaurants are there near near her flat? A lot. But the best restaurant is a Korean. It's a Korean restaurant. There's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? There aren't many parking garages. There aren't many parking garages, but Pam usually finds a place on the street. Is there much crime? Crime here doesn't mean a crime, one crime, no. Crime means criminology. Is the place safe or not safe? Secure or not secure? No, it's pretty safe. It's very safe. What happens during the phone call? During the phone call, Pam hears her call alarm. So she hang up. She hang up the phone. It means that the new neighborhood is not safe. Exercise 9. Grammar focus. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? 
Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. How many and how much? Count nouns and non-count nouns. Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Count nouns, pens, cars, chairs, computers, computers. Count nouns, we have S, plural, I can count 1, 2, 3. Non-count nouns, rice, water, coffee, tea. These are non-count nouns, count and non-count nouns. Count nouns, count nouns, count nouns or countable nouns are nouns that I can count one, two, three, four, five. They have plural with s. They have plural. Club, clubs. A bus, buses. Restaurant, restaurants. A car, cars. Count noun. Count nouns have plural with s or es. We have non-count nouns and count nouns. Now, to remember, a non-count noun cannot be plural. We use it like a singular noun. But count nouns can be plural. They can be singular or plural. But count nouns have the possibility to be plural. And this is important for today's grammar. So, let's look at some examples of non-count nouns. Crime is a non-count noun. Traffic is a non-count noun. Pollution is a non-count noun. Public transportation is a non-count noun. And noise is also a non-count noun. Notice we cannot make these words plural. We always use them in the singular form. Now, examples of count nouns. For example, parks. Notice it's plural. It can be singular, but it can also be plural. So it's a count noun. Also, restaurants is a count noun. Businesses is a count noun. Bus stops is a count noun. And cars is a count noun. So, remember, non-count nouns cannot be plural. We use them like they are singular. Count nouns have the potential, the possibility, to be plural. So, we looked at some city vocabulary for non-count nouns and count nouns. Here are some more words related to the city with non-count nouns and other count nouns related to the city. Take a moment to look at the ones that you don't recognize as count nouns and non-count nouns. Okay, today's grammar is quantifiers. In quantifiers, it's important to know what is a non-count noun and what is a count noun. First, let's look at the non-count nouns. For example, much. Much is a quantifier we use for non-count nouns. We also have a lot of, a little, not much, not any, and none. These are quantifiers for non-count nouns. Now it's time for the count nouns. We have many, a lot of, a few, not many, not any, and none. Now, 
Let's look. The ones that are different. Much is for non-count nouns, and many is for count nouns. We also have a little for non-count nouns, and a few for count nouns. Also, not much for non-count nouns, and not many for the count nouns. The ones they have in common are a lot of, and a lot of, not any, not any, none, and none. So the ones to remember are the ones that are different. Much, many, a little, a few, not much, and not Are there many? Are there many supermarkets around here? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. Are there many? Plus count now. Are there many supermarkets around here? Are there many cinemas around here? Are there any movie theaters around here? Are there any malls around here? Answer, yes, there are a lot. Many becomes a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. So I have here five answers. All of them are correct. Are there many? Are there many plus a count noun? Count noun, countable noun. Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. Many? Question. Answer. A lot. A few. Negative. Not many. Not any. None. Many? In question. Answer. A lot. A few. Not many. Not any. None. How many? How many plus count noun? How many students are there? There are 10. There are 10 students. How many students are there? That means how many students are in the class? There are 10 students. How many plus count noun are there? Answer, there are plus number. Like 10, 12, 15. How many flats are in the building? There are 20 flats. There are 20 apartments. Flats, apartments. Non-count nouns. Non-count nouns or uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Non-count nouns. Nouns that I can't count. I can't say one, two, three, four. Water. You can't count water. Parking. Parking. Traffic. Crime. Crime here doesn't mean a ah, crime, like killing is a crime. No. Crime means criminology. So non count nouns are nouns that I cannot count. I can't count. Like water, crime, traffic, parking. Non-count nouns plus a singular verb. I say traffic is or traffic are, parking is or are, water is or are, pollution, noise, is or are. After non-count noun, we have a singular verb, is. Traffic is, parking is, water is, noise is, pollution is, pollution. Is there much? Is there much? 
plus nine count noun. Is there much noise in your neighborhood? Is there much noise in the street? Is there much noise in Cairo? Yes, there is a lot. Yes, there is a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there is none. Question, much. Answer, a lot. Little, not much. Not any, none. The rule, is there much plus none count noun? Answer, yes, there is a lot. Yes, there is a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there is none. Much? Question. Answer. A lot. A little. Not much. Not any. None. How much? How much? Plus none count now. How much noise is there? There is a lot of noise. How much plus none count noun is there? There is a lot. There is a little. You can say a lot, too much, a little, small amount. How much? How much noise is there? There is a lot of noise. How much plus none count noun is there? There is a lot, there is a little. Take care. There is difference between how much does it cost? This is to ask about the price. But here, say, how much noise? How much pollution? How much traffic is there? How much does it cost? What's the price? Many. Now it's time to look at the quantifiers and the non-count nouns and the count nouns together. Let's look at the non-count nouns first. When we ask the question about the quantity or the amount of a non-count noun, for example, crime, we use the quantifier much. How much is asking about the quantity of the non-count noun crime. How much crime is there? Notice I use the singular form of is there because crime is a non-count noun. So, only use much for the non-count noun in the question. When we answer the question, we use the singular form there is and the quantifier. For example, there is a lot of crime, or there is a little crime, there is not much crime, there isn't any crime, but be careful with none. When we use none, we do not use the noun. For example, how much crime is there? There is none. We do not use the noun, only the quantifier none. Very good. Now time for the count nouns. In the question, when we want to know the quantity or the amount of a count noun, for example, parks, we use the quantifier many. How many parks are there? Notice the plural form because parks is plural. Only use many for the question when you're asking about the quantity of a count noun. When we answer the question, again, we use the plural form there are and the quantifiers. For example, how many parks are there? There are a lot of parks. Or, there are a few parks, there are not many parks, there aren't any parks. And again, be careful with none, because when we use none, we do not use the noun. We only use the quantifier. How many parks are there? There are none. So, to review, when we ask the question about a non-count noun, for example, crime, we use how much. How much we only use for non-count nouns. When we ask the question about quantity for a count noun, for example, parks, we use how many. How many is only for the count nouns. The other quantifiers, for example, a lot of, a lot of, not any, not any, none, and none, we can use both for non-count nouns 
and count nouns. The other quantifiers that are specific are a little and not much are only for non-count nouns, a few and not many are only for the count nouns. Very good. Now, A. Write answer to these questions about your neighborhood, then practice with a partner. We have here different questions. You have different answers, many answers. Let's answer the questions. 1. Are there many apartment buildings? Yes. Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are many. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. Number two. How much traffic is there? There is a lot. There is a little. There is none. There isn't much. There isn't any. Question number three. How many dance clubs are there? There are a lot. There are few. There are none. There aren't many, there aren't any. Question number four. Is there much noise? Yes. Yes, there is a lot. Is there much noise? Yes, there is a lot. No, there isn't any. No, there isn't much. No, there is none. No, there isn't much. Question number five. Are there many pay phones? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are many. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. Question number six. Is there much pollution? Yes, there is a lot. No, there isn't any. No, there isn't much. No, there is none. No, there isn't much. Question number seven. How many swimming pools are there? There are a lot. There are a few. There are none. There aren't many. There aren't any. Question number seven, I can say, there are five swimming pools. I can make a number. Is there much parking? Yes, there is a lot. No, there isn't any. No, there isn't much. No, there is none. No, there isn't much. B. Group work. Write questions like those in part A about these topics. Then ask and answer the questions. In this question, you make questions about cafes, crime, parks, pollution, public transportation, schools, traffic lights. Example, cafes. How many cafes are in your street? There are four cafes. There are a lot. Is there much crime in your neighborhood? Yes, there is. Is there much crime in your neighborhood? Yes, there is a lot. Yes, there is a little. Parks. Parks, like Dream Park, a very big garden for public to have fun. Are there many parks around here? Yes, there are. Yes, there are a lot. Is there much pollution? Yes, there is. Yes, there is a lot. Is there much public transportation? Public transportation? None count now. Is there much public transportation? Yes, there is a lot. Schools. How many schools are here? There are a lot of schools. 
There are ten schools. Writing. Read this bulletin board ads asking for roommates. Now here, let's read this advertisement. This advertisement to ask for roommate. Roommate, someone who is living in a room who shares the rent, to share the rent. So every month, if the rent is $1,000, you pay 500 and your roommate pays 500. Roommate needed to share large three bedroom apt. Apt apartment. A nice neighborhood. Great park across the street. Only $440 a month. Parking available. Call Cherry or Jen at, at 352-555-8381. In this ad, great park, so I should say there is a great park across the street. A nice neighborhood, it's a nice neighborhood. Please call Sherry or Jane at blah blah blah. You will be only 440 dollars a month. Parking is available. So there isn't verb to be. There isn't a or an. So an advertisement we remove a, an, verb to be and write in abbreviation like telephone, tell, t-e-l. Apt apartment. Why? For not paying a lot of money in writing the advertisement. The world in one neighborhood. The world in one neighborhood. Neighborhood district scan the article then check through the countries that are not mentioned brazil china greece india spain sudan uruguay vietnam now let's start to look at the picture Here, what do you see? Fashion shops. This is a restaurant. Different shops, different stores. People. They are on the sidewalk. The sidewalk pavement. Where is this place? Toronto, Catherton Market, College Street. So this area is called Catherton. What about it? The sidewalks are crowded with people chatting in Cantonese. The sidewalks, the pavements. The pavements are crowded with people are full, full of people, chatting, speaking, speaking in Cantonese. An Indian man sells spices from his corner shop. An Indian man sells spices from a shop in the corner. Brazilian music plays loudly from a cafe. So, the music is Brazilian. Did China, India, Brazil? So, where are they? Are they in China, India, Brazil? No, it's Kensington. 
Kensington. It's Kensington, Kensington Market, a neighborhood in Toronto, Canada. So this place in Canada, in Toronto. Kensington Market was once an Eastern European and Italian neighborhood. This district, this area, was Italian and European. But the area changed along with its residents. Residents inhabitants, people who live in. First came the Portuguese, so the people from Portugal came. Then East Asians, people from Asia. Asia, countries such as China, Japan, Korea. Then people from Iran, Vietnam, Sudan, Brazil, the Caribbean, and the Middle East. The Middle East, countries such as Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Kuwait, Iraq. Let's ask some questions about this paragraph. Which language do the people speak on the sidewalks? They were chatting in Cantonese. What does the Indian man sell? He sells spices from his corner shop. What kind of music? What kind of music is played in a cafe? Brazilian music. Where is this area? It's a neighborhood in Toronto, Canada. Who is living in this area now? Different nationalities. People from people from Portugal, Portuguese, East Asia, Iran, Vietnam, Sudan, Brazil, the Caribbean and the Middle East. Paragraph 2. Today, the neighborhood is truly multicultural. Today, the neighborhood, the area, the district is truly multicultural. Multicultural, different cultures. Different cultures, different nationalities. It's cosmopolitan area. A cosmopolitan area having different cultures and nationalities. You can hear more than 100 languages on its streets. New residents, new residents bring many new traditions, traditions, customs, habits. What's really cool about Kensington? What's good? What's wonderful about this area is that as soon as you're in it, you feel as though you're not in Toronto anymore. Just you got inside this area and you're not in Toronto. You are not in Canada. Says one resident, says, says one resident. I think what makes Kenston Market unique, unique, rare, unique, rare, unusual, is that it's always changing, says another. It's not stable, there is a change every day. What is the neighborhood like? It's multicultural. How many languages are spoken there? More than 100 languages. What do the new residents bring? They bring many new traditions. What's cool about this area? It's always changing. Paragraph 3. It isn't surprising that the area in and, in and around Kenston market is becoming a popular place to live. The rents are reasonable. The rent, money you pay it to live in a flat or a house, are reasonable. Reasonable? Okay. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is, is exciting. Exciting, interesting. It has good public transportation. Public transportation, transportation for all the people. 
such as buses, subways, trains. There are apartments of every size and for every budget. Apartments, flats. There are flats of every size, big flats, small flats, and for every budget. Budget, finance. With high prices, low prices, medium. It has an expensive stores inexpensive not expensive cheap cheap stores fun cafes fresh fruit and vegetable marks and restaurants with almost every type of cuisine and there are restaurants with every type of food you can have Chinese restaurant Korean restaurant American restaurant French restaurant as one resident says, this place is the heart of Toronto. This is the heart, the heart of Toronto, the most important part of Toronto. Now let's ask some questions about paragraph 2. Is the market popular? Yes, it's a popular place to live. Why a lot of people like to live in this area? Because the rents are reasonable, the neighborhood is exciting, and it has good public transportation. What else can you find in Toronto? In expensive stores, fun cafes, fresh fruit and vegetable marks, and restaurants with almost every type of cuisine. What does this neighborhood represent? It represents the heart of Toronto. Read the article, then write the number of each paragraph next to its main idea. The residents and their traditions make Canston market a multicultural neighborhood. So this is paragraph number, paragraph number, paragraph number two. People from all over the world live in Canston market. This is paragraph number one. The neighborhood has many good characteristics. Paragraph number three. To answer this question, you should read the first sentence in each paragraph because it has the main idea. B. Check through the things you can find in Kenston Market. So what can you find in this area? In expensive stores, big apartments, great markets, Good restaurants, many different cultures, good public transportation. Do you know of a neighborhood that's similar to Kansas Market? Describe it. This is going to be a homework. You should write about a neighborhood that you know and describe it. Thanks for watching. That's the end of unit number 8. And now let's have the vocab. Seven, bark. Makes a loud noise like a dog. Yard, space around the house. Garbage, waste, trash. Garbage, waste, trash. Complaints, statements people make about problems. Complaints, statements people make about problems. Privacy, a state of being alone. Privacy, a state of being alone, to be alone. Kids, children, loud, noisy. Exercise 8. Downtown, the business center of a city. Downtown, the business center. The business center of a city. Convenient, nearby. Easy to find things. British, convenient. O, A. American, O, 
é a ação. British ou oh, oh. convenient, British, American, convenient, nearby, easy to find things, parking, place to park the car, parking, a place to park the car, safe, not dangerous, without crime, safe, not dangerous, without crime, hold on, hold on, link, between the D and O, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, T soft D, wait a, wait a minute, an apartment, a flat, are there, Exercise 9. Are there many plus countable noun? Countable noun, a countable noun, count noun. Are there many plus countable noun? How many plus countable noun? How many plus countable noun are there? How many plus countable noun are there? Is there much? Is there much plus uncountable noun? Uncountable noun, non-count noun. Is there much plus non-countable noun or uncountable noun? How much? How much plus uncountable noun? How much plus uncountable noun is there? How much plus uncountable noun is there? Little, little, t soft d. Opposite, much, little, much. Quantifiers. Quantifiers are used to describe different amount of things, such as a lot, a few, any, many, much, none. Quantifiers are used to describe different amounts of things such as a lot, few, any, many, much, none. Crime. A, a crime, one crime, a bad deed. Killing is a crime. Killing is a crime. To kill someone is a crime. Killing is a crime. Traffic. Traffic is non-count noun. Traffic is a non-count noun. Traffic is a non-count noun. Parking is a non-count noun. Exercise 11. Won't add. Wanna add. Won't. Wanna. Wanna add. Vacancy advertisement. A vacancy advertisement. App apartment flat. Note in ad in advertisement articles such as a an and the ver and the verb be are usually not included. Exercise twelve. This is the passage. Sidewalks. Sidewalks American. British walks, sidewalks, sidewalks, pavements, pavements or pavements, places next to the street where people walk, sidewalks, pavements, places next to the street where people walk, crowded with, full of, band, a group of musicians, band, a group of musicians, a group of musicians, blend, mix, truly, nearly, as surrounded by, have all around, adopt, begin to use, rents, money people pay to live in apartments, money people pay to live in apartments, roomy, with lots of space, Spacious, roomy, spacious, roomy with lots of space, spacious, long, 
long time for a long time resident resident a person who lives in a place traditional usual traditional usual greek a person who lives in greece greece is a country tortillas this word not english word this is name this is a mexican name tortillas mexican pancake a mexican pancake tortillas mexican pancake mexican pancake made with eggs and corn flour cara character characterist characteristics characteristics features characteristics features characteristics features multicultural multicultural cosmopolitan having different cultures multicultural cosmopolitan having different cultures welcome share videos it's a community we're all doing this together